guys we're back y'all said i didn't come to the north part of charlotte somebody was complaining you never come out north so i'm in <laughs> north mecklenburg about as far north as you can go i got daquan studio you can let your seat back and push it down yes sir all right you push it down too it'll drop down and get back um daquan stewart north mac you're going to south carolina is it right yes sir why the, why the gamecocks uh it's just like a family feeling there like i took i took my first visa i ever took there it just felt like home yeah. So like it's like an hour and thirty away from my mom, from my family. They can come watch me play. It's not gonna be too hard for them to come it's see. Good me. thing and a bad thing. <laughs> yes, that. But yeah, yeah, that's why I, that's why I committed there. Who did you choose them over? I choose them over Louisville, Georgia Tech. I choose them over a lot of other schools. My recruiting, my recruiting could have blew up, but like I just wanted to get out the way, and I felt like that was a perfect place for me. And when you say blow up, what do you mean? Like I feel, like I could have had like all the bigger schools, like LSU, Georgia, Florida State, Florida, but I just wanted to like commit to game because I believe in Coach Mush and Coach B Mac. Mm -hmm. um, what are you gonna play there? I know you play a little bit of everything. Uh, you know? Receiver. Okay, just straight receiver. Yes, sir. How fast are you? Me, I run a four four forty. For real, electronic, not yeah. not no. Yes, sir. My boy, time me. What time you old man? You ran a bottle for you. <laughs> yes, sir. I run four four. Anybody ever caught you on the football field? Uh, it depends. Someone did before uh, my sophomore year. That yeah. made me get faster. <laughs> what happened? How'd you get? It was faster? like it was like me. Like I had a I was at quarterback and it was read option. So I yeah. just ran. I hit the sideline and like he he came at an angle. He caught me. I was mad at my. We we turned out lost that game by a touchdown. So uh -huh. I never got caught for like we won. So what'd you do after that? Speed back? work. I got on. I got on Vertimax. Held my takeoffs. I did work with my speed trainer. It's like a lot of stuff I had to do to get fast. So how many days a week were you going at this? I was going three a week. How long, how many hours? Two hours a day. Wow. I, my lateral quickness. And how long did it take you just to kind of see a difference from doing that? Uh, it took me all the way, the basketball season, because during because I was doing it during basketball season. Okay. So during basketball season. This I, is your sophomore year? Oh, uh, yes sir. Right. So I just felt myself getting faster, right. moving faster. And now, so now ever since then, I've been like, I've been moving. Cause I used to run a four six and I was slow. Man. You dropped two tests? Yes, I dropped two in two years. I don't know how, wow. that, it's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's moving. Yes sir. And how, what, what is the difference between somebody running a four six in high school football and somebody running a four four in high school football? Four six, four six, you're, fa you, you're fast, but you're not like, it's like, cause it's a lot, we're in the best conference. I feel like this is the best yeah, conference high school football. Absolutely. And it's a lot of fast guys, like athletic guys. So right now I feel like me running a four four is easier for me not to get caught easy for me to like score a touchdown even help my team win. Okay. Four six, I feel like I can get caught easy. Now you, you say you guys are the best conference in the state. There's a little, I don't know, not, I'm gonna say there's an argument, but the Southern Carolinas, the, the Catholic winning three A state championship and Weddington winning. Three double A state championship. Mm -hmm. They, they kind of want to lay claim to that. Uh, what do you think makes the, the I make the best? Uh, Cause we have some of the best athletes in the state. We have with Mallard Creek. Mallard Creek produced some of the best athletes in football in the state. Mm -hmm. Vance recruit. Vance has some of the best athletes in the state. North Met, we don't get that many, but we have enough to compete oh, with some yeah. of the best players. Absolutely. Huff has some of the best players. So it seemed like. All seemed, those schools like in a 15 yeah. mile radius of each other. Yes, sir. How, I mean, that's crazy. Mal Mallard Creek's five minutes down the street. That's crazy. Now tell me, I was asking about your nickname. Tell people what your nickname is and why they call you that. All right, my nickname is Bobo. And in your, your Twitter is like Bobo Too Lit or something? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, Bobo Too Lit. And like my mom, like when she first got pregnant with me, she thought like she wanted a girl. She was like, she thought she was having a girl, yeah, so yeah. she was happy. So my uncle's nickname is Bobo Too. Uh -huh. My uncle's name is Bobo. So my uncle was like, Drew, like, it's gonna be a boy. I'm telling you, I just got a feel it's gonna be a boy. And my mom was like, all right, so if it's a boy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name him after your nickname after you is Bobo. Uh -huh. So it was, she wanted to have the ultrasound and it was Bobo. That's the crazy been part. Bobo ever since. Yes, sir. Tell me about this year at North. I mean, you guys got a, we're filming this. You guys are about to play West Charlotte. You're one in three, I think. What, yes, sir. What, what, what's led to the slow start and, and how can you fix it? Uh, slow start because, like, we changed our offense this year. 
But last year we was a mainly throwing offense with just me, Justin Olsen, and Aaron Scott. Okay. Uh, Aaron Scott is a quarterback. But now we changed to an offense, a uh, running offense, because we don't have that many threat receivers how we had last year. So we're just trying to gel together. And now we're changing, we're changing our offense over time. Mm -hmm. And like we can see the we can see the change. We can see the change. Last year, last Friday was a tough loss, but we saw like with the it with was. the with the new throwing offense that we're going to be good. How is that? I mean, you being a receiver, is that tough for you to, to say, I'm going to step back from what I do best to do something else? Yes, sir. It kind of, it's kind of hard because as a receiver, a, a receiver mindset, I feel like it's just it's not just me. A receiver mindset is, all right, this game I'm going to go out and catch balls. Mm -hmm. But like, but not like with a uh, with not a throwing offense, you got to be like, oh, I got to go block. Every <laughs> receiver's not going to want to block every time. They want to catch. They want to catch the ball. ball. Y'all are demons. Yes, sir. <laughs> so it's like it's like we just gotta. It's like now we gotta change to help the team. We gotta come out and block and help the team. Yeah, that's, that says a lot about you. You able to do that? What? What? How do you want to be remembered in North Man? I remember as a guy that people, not only football players, can look up to, like the whole school can look up to. Mm -hmm. So in school, when I see people that like doesn't get as much attention as other people, mm -hmm. I go, I say what's up to them. I say, hey, I say, how your day going? Because you never know how big you can impact somebody's life just by saying, hey. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, my man. Yes, Thanks sir. for joining us. Thanks for having me. That was easier. Yes, sir. <laughs>